Before you can use the web server, you've got to start it running. Now, here's a way to do that. There's a bit of a wait while it initializes and gets itself running. Once you have it running, it will continue to run in the background until you stop it. When you get this prompt, go ahead and press any key. It's now running. You can verify that with your web browser. This is a full-blown web server that you have running on your local system. You can look at its default home page this way. It uses, of course, the HTTP protocol. The default name of your local computer is localhost. That causes any requests to come right back into your local machine. The port you've designated is number 8080, and that's the one that this server is listening to. There's the home page. The server is up and running. You can stop the server from running the same way that you started it. And that's it. The server has been installed and you're able to run it on your system. Before you can use the database, you'll need to start the database server running. Here's how you do that. The relational database called point base is now running. This console window remains open and you can check the current status of things. For example, you can use the V command to check the version. In later lessons, we'll be dealing with programs that talk to the database. You can stop it the same way you started it.